We're here to honor Gordon Stewart Hamilton, a professor in the Climate Change Institute, uh, the School of Earth and Climate Sciences, and world-renowned glaciologist and polar traveler. Uh, we're particularly privileged to have his family here, uh, Fiona, his wife, his sons, Martin and Callum, other family members, uh, a lot of close friends, uh, his former and current students, uh, and many colleagues from this university, uh, from the University of Kansas, the Cold Regions Research Engineering Laboratory, Dartmouth College, and many, many other places. UMaine has lost one of its leading scientists. Gordon was a world-renowned glaciologist, and his work clearly spanned the globe. In addition to the reputation as a scientist that I'm sure a number of people will talk about today, he also had a reputation as a tremendous teacher, both for undergraduates and graduate students, and he was a caring mentor. He really wanted his graduate and undergraduate students to experience field work and to understand how that, how that affected and how, how that would play out across their careers. Students were really central to his work. It takes an incredible amount of family support on the home front to do the kind of work that Gordon did. So I thank you for sharing him with our research community. And on behalf of all my colleagues at NSF and the greater polar research community whose work and lives have been touched by Gordon, I express our deepest sympathies. I brought with me today to give to you a flag from the United States Antarctic Program and a book of condolences, letters that were written from polar programs around the world and sent to NSF. Um, and in addition, a US flag will be flown at South Pole Station in honor of Gordon, and then it will be given to you as well. So our hearts and our thoughts are with you now and always, and we will all miss him. What I especially enjoyed was Gordon's willingness on a moment's notice to partake in any activity, whether it be going on a hike, a bike ride, or out for a Friday beer and a chat after work. As we all know, Gordon traveled far and wide and spent more time away from his family than most of us. We all look forward to his return, to the fun and interesting stories he brought back with him, and to the gourmet meals he would cook for us. He was, however, incredibly lucky to have Fiona. By keeping the house, the kids, the cats, and everything else in order while he was away, she is one of the main reasons he was able to have a wonderful family life while at the same time pursue an incredible career. As all of his students can attest to, Gordon was fiercely loyal and supportive. Graduate school is usually filled with insecurity and self-doubt, and Gordon spent as much time building our confidence and as teaching us glaciology. All of us have gotten emails from him implying that our paper draft was a great start and just had, had a few edits, <laughs> only to find an attachment with as much red as black in it. And Gordon always made time for us, whether it was to chat about research, help us practice a presentation, or listen to our personal stories. Gordon would balk and roll his eyes if he heard me describe him as either cool or a leader, but in his own way, he was both. We all envied him, not only for his humility and humor, but for his unique traits, his ability to remember references to 50-year-old papers, his neat field notes written with bare hands and negative temperatures, his incredible sense of direction, his editing skills, his unrattled nature, his humor, his brain. To his family, Martin, Cal, Fiona, and his extended family, I hope you can see the incredible impact that Gordon had on his entire community. So many of us honestly owe our careers to him. And you should know that everywhere he went, he was talking about you all, your hockey games and canoe races and upcoming travels. And we'd all place bets on what animal or international exchange student you'd adopt <laughs> while we were out doing field work. You all were the highlight of his life and we thank you for sharing him with us.